Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart your iPhone SE third generation. Now, this is something you want to do if you're having any sort of issue with the software of your iPhone, whether the screen is frozen, apps are crashing, or simply having all sorts of issues with your iPhone SE. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. It's safe to do. And the number one recommended thing that Apple recommends doing when it comes to troubleshooting your iPhone. So let's get started. So in order to do a force restart, a couple things you need to know are the buttons here. So you have the volume up and the volume volume down button which are going to be important and then the side button on your right hand side in order to do a force restart there's a sequence of button you have to press which is going to be volume up you're going to press and release and then followed by volume down press and release one after another it has to be quick and then you're going to hold this side button or the power button looking on the other side on the right hand side until the screen goes black and you're going to keep on holding until you see the apple logo at that point you'll let go of the button so to demonstrate in real time volume up volume down and then i hold the side button here so as you can see here you just have to be a little bit quick if siri activates that simply means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough so as you can see i'm pressing and holding that side button here and waiting for the apple logo to reappear and once it reappears i let go of that side button and now what i have done is a force restart which again it's going to ensure that the phone is completely shut down and then reload the software fixing any sort of issue that you may be experiencing with your iPhone LC here. At this time, you're going to probably be back on the main screen. It's going to ask you for your password and then you'll be able to get back in and hopefully your issue is resolved. And that's it doing a force restart or reset on your iphone se i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks on using your iphone se third generation or any of the iphones that you have thanks for watching guys see you guys next time